Vi ricordate ELT, l'Extremely Large Telescope, che con il suo specchio primario da 39 metri di diametro è destinato a diventare il più grande telescopio al mondo? Come sta andando la sua costruzione in corso da anni in Cile nel deserto d'Atacama? Rossella Spiga di Media Inaf lo ha chiesto al telescope scientist dell'ESO, Jason Spiromilio. Sentiamo. So, the construction of the ELT is in full speed, the telescope is uh, in erection at the, uh, at the site in Chile, in Armazones, in northern Chile, uh, the dome is, uh, is also there, optical components are being uh, shipped. In Europe we are manufacturing uh, a lot of the uh, parts of the telescope, the mirrors are being polished, uh, they've been made in, in Europe as well. Uh, adaptive mirrors are being made in Leco and in uh, Bolzano. Uh, there are uh, instruments being uh, designed and, and constructed in institutes all over Europe. Uh, so all in all it is going uh, really, really uh, well and, and uh, quite remarkably very close to our planned schedule and cost. Can we expect the first light of the ELT by 2028? So the first light of the telescope uh, we hope will be by 2028. Uh, the, there are a whole bunch of things that happened before uh, which uh, are uh, technical uh, first lights or first stars which may happen sooner uh, depending on exactly how we uh, how the integration of, of the optics goes in and what the last components to arrive but currently the schedule indeed shows that by 2028 we would have uh, first light could you do a brief overview on the first light instruments with a specific focus on the italian contribution so way back in 2006 when we started this uh, adventure, together with the scientific community and our oversight bodies, we agreed on a suite of first light instruments uh, which uh, would cover the scientific ambitions of the community at that time. So we have instruments such as Harmony, Mikado with Morfeo, the adaptive optics module, METIS, which are the, the, the baseline, and approved within the system are also instruments such as Mosaic and what is now called Andes and a uh, high-resolution planetary camera. So this combination is uh, of these instruments, uh, Morfeo, Mikado, Harmony and Metis are uh, in construction at this point and Andes and Mosaic are in uh, design phase, in thinking about the uh, designing phase. Uh, the Italian uh, contribution is most striking in Morfeo, which is the multi-conjugate adaptive optic system. And Morfeo is really the, the game changer for uh, the, the ELT. If you can actually look at the science case and you think about where we open genuinely in a parameter space, it is in uh, narrow field, but one arc minute is not narrow, but it is uh, narrow field uh, imaging at extreme angular resolution. And this is what Morfeo actually gives us. What is quite remarkable is the enthusiasm, not only of the community to use Morfeo, but also of the people wanting to build Morfeo. So one of the things that has happened quite recently is that whereas a baseline configuration of Morfeo would have it having only one additional DM, the telescope has its own DM inside, so that the baseline Morfeo could have the telescope plus one DM, now Morfeo has two deformable mirrors as part of its base time, which really makes it an immensely powerful facility. So this is building on a heritage of adaptive optics that has uh, been uh, part of the Italian astronomy for the last 30 years and advancing into well, not terra incognita, but uh, into uh, places where we really are pushing the limit. And this combination of wavefront sensing and 
pyramid wave front sensors, which are now the standard across the board, uh, an Italian invention, plus the uh, power of deformable mirrors made in the north of Italy by companies such, like, such as Microgate and, and ADS, where we are also sourcing the DMs for the uh, uh, ELT, and for that matter the VLT, um, is a way forwards which is very indicative of how long it takes to get to a point where you become ambitious, you need a deep understanding of what's happening. And that comes from this long heritage of experimentation and uh, construction of facilities around the world.